A 2006 survey found teens in the United States ranked 21st out of three countries in the world in science and 25th in math. Those scores, uh, one of the reasons why 200 of North Idaho's youngest and brightest girls will gather in Coeur d'Alene today for a day of science. KXOY4's Eric Loney is live to tell us more about that. Yeah, good morning, guys. We're in the lab here at the University of Idaho in Coeur d'Alene, and this is where 150 girls today and 150 girls tomorrow will be taking part in some science classes. This is Julie Van Middlesworth. She's an instructor at North Idaho College in Environmental Sciences, and you're going to be giving one of the topics or one of the instructions to all these girls. What are you going to be talking about today? I'm going to be talking to, the, to the, these young ladies about environmental science, several topics. It's such a broad interdisciplinary field. Um, we're going to talk about biodiversity and extinction, um, global climate change, and of course, water quality. And this is what you're going to show, to show us one of the demonstrations you're going to do, just to illustrate a point. Yes. So if you can imagine, this fishbowl is our watershed. Our watershed, we're in the upper Columbia River Basin. And um, this is going to show cumulative impacts. So if you can imagine, one person in our watershed is using fertilizers in their yard or using phosphate-based detergents. That's going to add um, these pollutants to our, our watershed. And as you can see, if more and more people um, are living in our watershed using these products, it can end up accumulating in our watershed and then it can cause problems. And Julie, briefly, talk to me about just some of the fields that, that these women will go into in the future. In the future, um, they could go into a variety of fields, including water quality monitoring. They could um, be involved in innovative research to reduce our global um, carbon emission footprints. So we need to make great strides in lowering our footprints for water and carbon. They could be researching um, how to desalinize the waters in the oceans. They could be going into marine biology. The oceans are imperiled as well. So, Lots many, and lots of fields. fields. And again, so this is all being put on today by the University of Idaho and North Idaho College on both campuses here in Coeur d'Alene. And like we said, 300 girls will be in here uh, the next two days. Nadine, Mike? All right.